finished lately? If you have no idea what I'm talking about, then you probably don't need this tool, but maybe you do. Stick around and find out. I'm Tim Johnson. You're watching Shop Tool Reviews. This is the Metabo Burnishing Set. Specifically, it's the model number SC17-200RT, and the RT stands for rat tail, meaning rat tail grinder, because that's what it's based on, is their Metabo rat tail grinder. Now, this is not something for the faint of heart. It doesn't cost just a little bit. It's a pretty expensive tool. It's also a very powerful tool. It's about the most powerful grinder you can plug into a wall socket, at least here in the US. It draws 14 and a half amps. It also has multiple speeds and you can get multiple accessories for it as well. Now, before I give every feature away, let's zoom in, let's take a close look at this. Then we're gonna use it on something like you see right here, some old rusty construction steel. Now it's made for much more than that, like stainless steel, aluminum, uh, other types of nicer metals, if you will, whether you're wanting to go to a brush finished or retain that brush finished or fix problems in an area, or maybe even polish things like aluminum or other types of finishes, you can do so with this tool. Let's take a closer look, let's use it, and then we'll come back and wrap it up. I typically could care less about a case being in the picture, but in this case, pun intended, uh, it means something because this is a larger tool and you do get a metal case uh, to house the tool as well as this tool is typically gonna take a lot of accessories as well. So it's a great place to store all those things, the tools, the accessories, um, the tool itself. Uh, so anyway, that's why I wanted to mention that it is a big steel case that's nice and sturdy and should be able to hold most of the things you will need when you're using this or when you need to get to it. Specifically, this is the burnishing tool from Metabo. It is the SE17-200 RT. RT stands for rat tail. So this is based on a rat tail grinder. So you pretty much got your rat tail handle there. Um, so that's the RT. But anyway, this is a 14 and a half amp grinder. So this is no slouch. It's about as all it's about all the power you can pull out of your typical, you know, American wall 120 volt outlet is, is 15 amps. And so they're pushing the limits with this grinder. Really not a more powerful grinder you can get. And Metabo makes some of the best grinders, period. So as you can see, looks like a grinder because it pretty much is a grinder. Uh, but just a different setup here with this auxiliary handle. And by the way, this handle here, you can easily adjust to wherever you want that grip to be very quickly. Uh, and you can even adjust this handle up and down as well, as well as the shroud that will go up and down with it also, depending on what type of work you're doing and so forth. You get a spindle lock here, so tool-free spindle lock where you can lock that out. Um, and even on changing out these wheels, you have a nice knurled nut there, if you will, that you can grab a hold of, again, without any tools needed to change those wheels out. If you haven't noticed, we've got a different wheel setup than your typical grinder. So we've got more of a barrel style uh, where we can run different grits on here. And to be a burnishing tool, you can burnish lots of things from wood uh, to you can strip paint to you can burnish uh, steel, you can burnish stainless steel, aluminum, um, and really put the type of finish that you want on it. And this tool is capable of really carrying it almost to a mirror finish. Then you may go step off to a regular polisher, but let's talk about the tool a little bit and then we will actually use this. Uh, you do get a six speed dial here and that comes in very handy because as you step up your grits, you're gonna wanna speed up and as they uh, you step down in grits or like an 80 grit, you want to be moving slower than when you're running a 400 grit. So you can speed up with that you get a nice schedule here of telling you how many RPM. So six is gonna give you 3000 RPMs and one's only giving you 800. So you can turn that rather slowly uh, as well as you have a trigger here that you can use also. It's a slide trigger. So you've got a safety built into it. You can't just grab that and pull it. You have to slide it up and then pull it in and that's going to activate the tool. Now we have a couple of different accessories here. Number one, we have a wrench here that rarely will you ever need unless you're actually changing out um, some of the internal components on the, in, on the inside of this wheel here. Uh, but a couple of things. So we have this rubber wheel here that you're gonna put like your sanding grits on. 
so in this style, almost like a belt sander would be, and you'll just pretty much grab that with your hand and hold it, and then you can slide that down. And on the inside markings here on these papers, you can see 80 grit. It'll also give you um, an arrow as well in there, tell you which way to turn this. Uh, and then we have more of a flat disc wheel. So you see here, I believe this is a P120, and then we can step up in grits, and then we start getting to something that looks like in your flap wheel, you have not only the sandpaper, but you also have more of a scotch Bright material as well. And as you step up into the 280, same thing, just a finer grit and more of a scotch Bright feel and less of sandpaper feel. So as you step up in those different grits. And then you can carry us all the way up to a to a 400 grit and then even into a actually polishing wheel as well. So you see here on the shaft, you have a key and that key easily indexes into one of those positions there on the wheel. You can slide it on there, find that key and then thread on your nut here and you're ready to go. Now we're gonna use this some, but let me point out a couple of things. Number one, th this is excellent for uh, putting your pattern, putting your texture back into your stainless steel tops or uh, even aluminum, whether you're doing a mirror finish or whether you're doing a number four, uh, so forth, where you're giving that brushed finish. Uh, this is an excellent tool for doing that. So this is a piece of stainless here as well as our stainless top, but this is just an individual piece of stainless. I've worked on just a little, uh, but again, that's what you can do with this is actually, you know, put those lines, put that grain back into that stainless or take it to a mirror finish. And again, you can do aluminum the same way. You can strip paint from a body panel. No problem at all. Just like any other sander, it will do a great job at removing finishes off of metal or even off of wood. It'll do a great job stripping wood as well. Uh, but one thing that people don't realize is you can just take nice rusty old construction steel and put a pretty decent finish on it. In fact, that's what we're going to do right now. So let's try it out. Okay, I've got a block here that I'm just going to clamp this piece of steel to really quick so it doesn't move around on us. But again, you see just a piece of rusty 3 8 inch thick, uh, I think that's 8 inch channel, 8 inch C channel. I've got some 80 grit on the Metabo and let's see if we can't clean this up right quick. Okay, you saw the other pad or the other belt starting to walk on me just a bit. So I went ahead and changed that out uh, to a newer one. It's not walking near as bad, staying in place. As well as you see with different pressure, it'll wanna hop on you. So you gotta kind of find that pressure for the right grip to keep that from bouncing up and down and to find a nice even cut.
So now we've got a nice 80 grit finish on here. And I know I've got some deeper spots there, but we're not going to worry about that. Just got a nice, even 80 grit finish here. I even cleaned up a lot of that on the edge, have a little bit left in valleys here on this edge. But again, we're not going to worry about that. Just going to show kind of the capabilities of this. Now we're going to switch out. Going to go to 120 grit. By the way, make sure you've got the right direction. I do not have that turning in the right direction. There we go. That is correct now. Your label should always be on the, on the outside with the Metabo anyway. Typically everything I've seen. Now we've got the 120 grit. I'm going to step up the speed just a touch. So already very quick on that one. We have definitely taken that sheen or that finish up another notch very quickly. That first step took a little longer. That second step to 120 definitely didn't take as long at all. I'm going to hit it just a few more passes. Make sure your key stays in there. So now I've got my 180 grit. Again, that step a lot quicker. I'm gonna hit it a few more passes. And then let's hit it with our 280. Now we've got our 280 on. So you can see you're really starting to get a reflection in that piece of construction steel there. So you can really polish that to a mirror if we wanted to. That's just 280 grit. If we took it to 400, you would see an even better reflection there. But you're definitely starting to see where you can almost read uh, through that reflection there. You can definitely see the resemblance of whatever's being reflected there for sure. The Metabo burnisher works really, really well. In fact, it's really fun to use. Now you can see we went from a piece of nasty rusted construction steel, just some old C channel, and we polished it to a 280 grit shine. So you can actually see some reflection in it. Uh, it's not a mirror finish by any means, but we could have stepped up to 400 and then even into 600 and 800 and take it to 2000 grit and then actually put a polishing wheel on it and you can get a mirror shine out of it. Now, that's not something you would typically do with construction steel, but you would with say stainless, uh, with aluminum as well, uh, with different types of finishes, you can do so with this same burnisher. Like I said, step up to a polishing wheel on it. So they make all sorts of different accessories for this actual burnishing set. Now it's not a cheap tool by any means. This set, as you see it here, is going to run you north of $700, depending what accessories you get with it. You can order all types of different accessories all the way up to the polishing wheels. Metabo offers not only the wheels, but also the different, uh, you know, grinding belts, things like that, which I wanted to mention. You saw when I first started sanding with the 80 grid, it was kind of walking all over the place. Well, that was a used piece of paper or a used belt. Even though this is small, it's still kind of like a belt, like, like on a belt sander. Uh, but it was kind of enlarging itself and walking on that barrel. And I could 
manipulate the grinder a little bit to kind of walk it back into place, but it was just worn out. So I changed it out and I didn't really have that problem anymore except when I got on the edges and it would still want to walk a little, but you'll kind of learn how to tune that to make sure your paper's not walking on you. But my point is, as you see that paper starting to walk on you, it's probably wearing out as well as it, when it starts hopping like that as well, we were really ready to go up to that next step to that you know, 120 grit and not stay down at the 80. Hey, check it out for yourself. Again, it's the Metabo SC 17-200 RT, but Metabo, they are giants in the metal industry. They've been in this for decades and decades. In fact, I think it's over a hundred years. They're out of Germany. They understand tooling. They understand the metal industry, whether it's for just grinding a bevel on a piece of uh, construction steel or whether it's bringing a mirror finish or a brush finish to a piece of stainless as well. So check out Metabo. Also keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. If you don't mind, would you hit that like and subscribe button? But only if you liked our video. If you hated our video, by all means, give us that thumbs down. But would you let us know in the comments why? Have a great day. Keep smiling.